Welcome back to Morning Break, where the Carson Creepy short film competition is back starting next week. And we have Lyric Burt from Silver State Storytellers here with all of the details. So thank you for stopping by. This event was clearly such a hit last year. You guys have brought it back again, and you guys already have a ton of teams signed up. We do. We have 28 teams wow. as of this morning. That's amazing. Uh, it's blowing our minds <laughs> how... how invested the local filmmaking community is in these competitions. Yeah, well, what's great about it is that it is open to people of all skill levels, whether you're a professional, whether you're an amateur, whether you just have a cell phone and you want to create a story. It's really, truly an even playing field. Absolutely. Last year's winners actually shot the whole movie on their iPhone and edited it on their iPhone. No way! And it was the first movie that they ever made and they took Judge's Choice. That is incredible. Is that the one that we're talking about, Something's in the Water? Something's in oh, there. Oh, Something's in there. Something's <laughs> in the Water is a totally different movie. I'm sorry. Something's in there. We actually have a clip of it, so let's go ahead and show you guys that. Alrighty, what happens next? You'll just have to watch the movie to find out. I will actually put on our website, colotv.com, after the show. Go ahead to that website, and I'm going to put a list of the YouTube channel where all of the movies from last year are available, including some things in there. I cannot believe they shot this on their phone and then edited it as well. That's incredible. That's so cool. Absolutely. The innovation that we're seeing from the filmmakers in these competitions just blows us away every single year. I love it. So the competition works kind of like the 48-hour film festival where they're given a prompt, only this time they have two weeks to do it, right? Correct. We give them a prop, a sound effect, and a line of dialogue, and then they have two weeks to take those prompts <laughs> and create some wonderful nightmare. I love it. Five to nine minutes is like the, is the total time for your short films. They have two weeks to do it, and when does it start? It starts this uh, next Wednesday. Oh, the 25th. Uh, September 25th. Okay. And then the films are due October 9th. And then it all culminates in a screening and award ceremony at Brewery Arts Center on Saturday, October 19th. Perfect. And that uh, that screening is going to be a lot of fun this year. You guys have raffles and everything, right? Absolutely. We have some wonderful raffle prizes from wonderful sponsors like Andalin Family Farms, Three Moons Trading Company, and the Polo Lounge Reno. Oh, that is so much fun. Okay, so if people want to be a part of this, how do they sign up and when's the deadline to do so? You can sign up as... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> at our website, nbstorytellers.org. Uh, registration closes September 25th, Wednesday at okay. noon. At noon, and that is literally when the competition starts. So you yep. really have until 11.59 to sign up, and then you'll get all of the information you need about, about what needs to be in your film. You get your crew together. You get your cast uh, together. You write a script. You, you film it. You edit it. I mean, this is just... A storyteller's dream kind of competition. It really is. And, you know, we've partnered with Cordillera International Film Festival as well. So the Judge's Choice winner will be featured at their Fright Night event later in oh October. Oh, my gosh, which is what Something's In There got to do last year, right? Absolutely, oh, yes. That is so cool. And, again, I mean, the Cordillera Film Festival, I mean, it brings international filmmakers who do this for a living together. So to be able to share your film in front of them, that's so cool. Absolutely. We are all about helping these filmmakers who are just starting out build those relationships to bring them to the next level of filmmaking and Cordillera is mm -hmm. certainly helping us do that. Yeah, who knew that Nevada, Northern Nevada specifically, has such an amazing and growing filmmaking industry. It's, it's so cool. It's <laughs> blowing up and I'm just so <laughs> delighted to be a part of it. Absolutely, Lyric. Well, thank you so much for being here. All of the information about Carson Creepy will be on our website, colotv.com, after the show so you can guys can go ahead, get your teams together, sign up, and we look forward to seeing your film on the big screen. We'll be right back.